Hi folks, welcome back to the East London Waterworks Aquifer. When you don't walk around the reservoirs, it's a mere nine mile walk round trip. Now, let's forget that this is a public road. It's called Lower Hall Lane and it's blocked off. Let's forget that there's a footpath over there that actually says footpath closed. Let's forget that the fire brigade were pulled in on three occasions with the Environment Agency to rescue people on this very street, Lower Hall Lane. There is the footpath there, the footbridge, now closed. The sluice is open up there. Thames Water opened it under duress. And now the old, very old, uh, turbine sluice is taking all the pressure from that so let's just have a look again let's just, just retrace off steps that's way at higher than it should be this is one of the original um river lee runoffs and i have to the reason why i sound a bit panicky on these males is because i have to be quick because i don't have a, a, a lot of space and that Look at that, both sides there. You've seen that before. This is listed, that is listed. And let's quickly have a look at the aquifer, shall we? The purest water in the world. Look at that. The view from the North Circular, you can see the East London Water Aquifer main tower right in front of me there, including the runoff, which is completely clogged up. And you can see unique fresh water draining down there. A lot of ducks around there, as you can see. I'm really surprised that that's planning permission now. They've looked classed it. The bit builders are in there now, developing it up. Um, if I just try and zoom in slightly, um, they've given it. They've allocated it. Class two, class three, and class three B flood risk in different parts of the building. Bottom line is, there's a 400 foot aquifer right underneath it. There's water under both sides, and there's a clogged up sluice from um, uh, the original Cook's Ferry, which used to go along here. And uh, uh, the um, William Girling Reservoir is right behind, and if you look very carefully, you can see the pump house there, reference in the middle from the William Girling. Reference. William Girling Reservoir to my left, the old toll booth for Cook's Ferry, straight in front of me. Um, the Chingford Mill in front of me. The reason why I'm trying to be quiet is just because a heron right next to me. This is the original outlet from the well. More problems here than you couldn't believe. But what I'm going to do, especially for Dad, if I zoom in as much as I can before he leaves, you will see a heron. He's just about to leave. from the aquifer. And before this ferocious dog comes again, who he will, uh, reference on the wall there, please. ELWWC, East London Water Company. Right, now there, if you look carefully, and I'm gonna have to move as soon as this dog arrives, that's the boar. And you can, if you look carefully, you can see in the middle, it's actually rising. The purest water in the world, an aquifer, and it's not even marked. The view from the North Circular, you can see the East London Water Aquifer main tower right in front of me there, including the runoff, which is completely clogged up. And you can see unique fresh water draining down there. A lot of ducks around there, as you can see. I'm really surprised that that's planning permission now. They've looked classed it. The bit builders are in there now, developing it up. Um, if I just try and zoom in slightly. Um, they've given it, they've allocated it. Class two, class three, and class three B flood risk in different parts of the building. Bottom line is, there's a 400 foot aquifer right underneath it. There's water under both sides and there's a clogged up sluice from um, 
uh, the original Cook's Ferry which used to go along here and <laughs> uh, the um, William Girling Reservoir is right behind and if you look very carefully you can see the pump house there reference in the middle from the William Girling. Welcome to the new way of operating. Um, you, due to the fact nobody knows where anything is anymore, when you're looking for contacts you actually have to put up um, signs pleading for information. Do you have any utilities running through this area? Because they don't know. It's all subcontracted. Yet again I'm here five times in a row. Lower Hall Pumping Station aka the Chingford Mills over there. East London Water Company building behind the original Cook's Ferry toll booth right in front now named or about 30 years ago named the Water Turbine House. The, all the exits there are clogged off. There's um, a sluice here. You can see the, how high the water level is. There's a sluice here that's closed and if you look at the, um, the cables, they're not even connected. There's no way that that's going to lift up in a hurry when they need to release that water. It's just not going to happen. You can see that. And right, what do we have up here? We have the water, uh, East London Waterworks aqueduct that goes right the way up to William Girling there. And you can see the William Girling um, uh, tower there on the top. Now the worrying thing about this is that it's a lose-lose situation here because you've got all this water being held back. Now if it f was to flood and you needed to release it in an emergency you wouldn't be able to open it anyway and if you did have managed to open it by drilling or knocking out that thing don't forget the cables aren't even connected there it hasn't been serviced for about 30 years. If you did release this amount of water under emergency conditions this surge would smash into the uh, Jeeves house where I know the tide woman who's still living there so um, it's a lose-lose situation here. You're talking, well, the amount of lorry pumps you'd need to pull this lot out would be uh, beyond the scale. This is the uh, East London Waterworks. You see there in the middle of the screen, e -W, sorry, ELWWC, East London Waterworks Company, erected 1896. Now, right in front of it, you have the aquifer here, and it's completely open. You can see fresh water bubbling up there. Right in the middle, you can see the uh, rather cleverly next door they got a drain runoff that was obviously put in in the Victorian times. Now all the drain runoffs here are blocked, and I'm not even including that sluice there. So we are going to be looking at smashing it pretty soon when the rains come. Um, you're talking about 450 foot drop. It's completely open. If, if this flood, you've got men walking around. Water Company um, aqua source position to my left side now. Don't forget this has been classed as Zone 2, Zone 3A and Zone B um, for development. Planning permission has been passed and yet there are clogged up waterworks absolutely everywhere. Left side, right side, underneath, because don't forget, and right and to the sluice on Cook's Ferry. It's completely within a couple of... Um, within a couple of metres and they're all amazingly different slightly different water levels you've got fresh water coming out here you've got the um, the blocked up sluice here and you've got this one which goes right underneath if I just take you over to here quickly this one goes right underneath which again is completely uncleared and hasn't been maintained for years so it goes right underneath there and amazingly enough it's not related to that water that's coming up there it's a complete matter I know this waiting to happen uh, Jeeves would be rolling in his graves faster than a doner kebab on a skewer on a barbecue East London water aquifer right in front of me uh, the original Cook's Ferry top emergency runoff from the aquifer by water water everywhere this one was the one this one comes from the reservoir so that's a modern one we don't need to worry about that one over there right under there that's a problem it's a big problem Chinkford Mills aquifer from the northwest side um, as you can see this runoff is in a within about a foot of breach should no way be this high there's trees all the way down blocking it off planning permission obviously the developers are in there now 
packing the hell out of that. But the bottom line is they've allocated some of this um, zone two, zone three, and zone B, despite everything that I've told you. It's critical, critical. Without the ma massive amount of maintenance that would need to be either drain off these uh, drains or um, unblock them, would cost these days would cost a million at least and uh, the interesting thing is I met a wonderful lady um, on the tide cottage down at Greaves pump house which is exactly a mile away from here and um, with the gas turbines here and she showed me the flood level last time it flooded about half a mile down from the East London Waterworks now. This is the uh, East London Waterworks thing, running straight into the Greaves pumping station, which used to have six gas turbines. Down to my left are tiny post cottages, where a woman lived, where her husband used to work for the Greaves. Now, as you can see, it's all walked up all the way up there. Um, there's no way she did be at this level. Apparently, she used to say that the guy used to come out at night on a torch run and do both residences. You've got work girling there just behind me. You've got literally right behind here. You've got um, you've got Banbury, uh, and all of that is under water level. There's actually a water plaque by that house showing last time when it flooded. That's the tide cottages. That's Greaves pumping station. Do you know when it happened? What year it happened? Now, has it got the date on it? Has it got the date? Let's quickly have a look. Nineteen eighteen, and that's Greaves to the left. Yeah, 1918 it says. Oh, I thought it had a date. Yeah, and um, that, that would have been just after, because I did hear that they had a big problem here in 1918. I was trying to work out whether it's 1978, but that's definitely a one, isn't it? Oh, it's not 1978. No. Well, let's Flood level. Flood level 20th of January 1918. Yeah, and that would be the water level here, wouldn't it, roughly? Yeah, that's where the flood came and that's yeah. where I came along. Brilliant. That's excellent. And your husband used to work for inside the Greaves, did he? Oh yeah, yeah. He's been in all the pumping stations. Really? He used oh. to work on them all, yes. I'd love any of that knowledge now, because these guys don't even know what's going on. No, I know <laughs> they don't. You're right. Okay, well have a lovely day. Didn't want to bring you out Thank in the you. cold. It's all right. It's just awful. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, terrible, it's isn't it? Easy. See you soon. Thanks. I'm going to get home now. Bye-bye. I need to get home before it rains, but uh, what I will tell you is, uh, well, the back of the gate is not even serviced anymore. As I said, that woman told me that um, this used to be, years ago, used to be, a guy used to come along in the evenings with a torch to check everything was okay. All the emergency streams are now blocked off. All the way along, you can see the dumping of rubbish and the fact that I can walk straight on to London's water supply. Um, it's, uh, I think it's pretty funny. No, uh, that just beat that flood level way below this. And look at that, that's quite up.